everyone. My name is Ahmed Saeed, and I'm talking to you today about the improvement of public transportation in Khartoum. If you have realized, there's a serious shortage of public transportation in Khartoum. Well, that's a problem because it causes pollution and congestion. Before I go on, I need to explain how that happens. First of all, imagine a bus carries 50 people and a car carries, let's say, one person, as each person owns his own car usually. So let's say 50 people each have one car, which means 50 different cars on the road, 50 different sets of emissions from the exhaust pipe, 50 different sets of carbon dioxide damaging the atmosphere. 50 different cars on the road also increase congestion. So let me put it this way. More public transport, less cars on the road, less pollution, and less problems. Less public transportation means more cars on the road, more pollution, and more congestion, more problem. <laughs> now imagine with me, you're in a Souq al Arabi, and the bus comes passing by, and the kumsar is hanging out of the door calling Arabi, 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 Arabi. <laughs> It's not nice and it's very unorganized. So as a young person growing up in Khartoum, I figured out a plan of three parts to, so to solve this. My plan is of three parts, which are buses, taxis, and an internal city metro system. First of all, buses. First of all, to improve the bus system in Sudan, we need the elimination of privately owned buses as they are dangerous, they are usually old, the drivers are unfriendly and they produce lots of emissions. <laughs> <laughs> we need the introduction of government owned buses as they will be clean, they will be new, and they will be well maintained and they are nice to look at. Establishment of proper bus stops. Look at this picture. This bus stop is in the UAE and it's very nice. This one's in Brazil. It's themed to look like a football net. I don't know where this is, but it's nice. All we want is good bus stop. <laughs> Establishment of a ticket system or a credit-based bus card system. For the bus card system, you have a card. It will be charged with money. You swipe it as you get into the bus. It gives you a set of distances that you can travel per day. It runs out of money, but then you can recharge it when it's, all, when it's all out. And it will be a good substitute to the commissary system. <laughs> Next, taxis. First, Taxis should wait in specified lanes near places of interest, and uh, airports should have their own taxis. These two points are present in Khartoum, but they need more organization and improvement. Unsafe taxis should be retired, just like the buses, because they are usually bad, and I have a nice picture. Look at that. Part three is uh, internal city metro system. Look at the picture. <laughs> I shouldn't go too far because we live in Sudan, but it's okay. <laughs> First of all, train tracks will be throughout the city, linking various train stations. This will hopefully become an efficient means of travel in the future. And I said hopefully, because we live in Sudan. <laughs> If everyone cooperates, these plans could change the public transport of Khartoum as we know it. Please, please, please spread my idea to everyone you know and thank you.